you'll be publishing your documents in different formats and uh, different margins. In order to edit the margins, I'm going to take a blank page right here. And then you can see that by default, there's a margin of 0 0.5 uh, inches right here, according to the ruler over here. So in order to change the margin, you can actually go into the page design, design tab. And over here, there's options for margin under the page setup sub menu over here. So in the margin, you can see that I can choose wide. So there's a wider range of margin right here that you can choose from. You can go for moderate or even narrow right here or select no margins. And you can see that the margin actually disappeared right there. So over here, you can also select the orientation of the paper right now. It is on the portrait mode and if you were to select this one now it goes on to the landscape mode right here so over here you can also choose the size and right now is the default letter size you can go for a3 which is a bigger size of 16.5 uh, inch by 11.8 uh, or something as you can see over here and you can also go for a4 size which is the standard photocopy paper a5 size b4 and so forth and now you can also enable the guides as you can see right here right now there's only one division uh, to the menu right here so you can go over here and enable like a two division so if you want to create a folding design right here you can also go for three fold or even a four fold over here which are the uh, guides over here that you can choose from we're gonna look at uh, the, um, uh, how to edit guides in further lesson uh, in the margins and orientation size and so forth, you can also go for more options. So you can go into the margins and go for custom margins right here. So you can see that there's 0 0.5 right here. And you can also go for 0 0.2 on the left side and maybe on the right you want to leave more. So I'm going to say 1.2 inches right here, 1.2. And also the grid guides, you can see that I can have the number of rows and columns for the grid over here. And the baseline grid, as you can see, you can increase and decrease the size as well and press OK and the grid is actually there. So I'm just going to go to the blank grid and you can see that the grid lines that I actually mentioned right here uh, appeared over here just like that. So you can go for the custom margin over here. You can adjust the baseline grid, the grid guides and uh, the master base right here. You can also see the baseline grids just like this. So if you were to enable the baseline, the one that we adjusted right here from the appears design in the margin section in the custom margin over here, the baseline grid is actually this. So if I were to increase the spacing right here, press OK, you can see that the baseline grid actually increase. So in the view menu, I can enable and disable the baseline grids just like that and disable the guides altogether if you want to. Uh, over here in the page setup, there's also the orientation and size and you can also go for the custom size from the page setup over here. In the page setup, you can see that you can define the width and height. So I'm going to say 13 inch by 5 or 2 inch or maybe 5 inch for that matter. And you can also go for the margins over here on the top left, bottom and right over here. You can also go for the paper width and height over here from this section. And you can see that the paper width and height besides the margin um, is there. So you can also have a top margin over here or horizontal gap as you can see and you can see that everything every uh, uh, preview is actually there. The vertical, vertical gap can be aligned, the side margins can be aligned and you can see that there are the side margins appearing over there. You can also go for different type of seats so there are booklet, email, uh, envelope and so forth, folding card and so forth as well. So if you were to select other one then a preset margin will actually come over there so that is how you can adjust so i'm just going to go for one seat over here adjust it all out press ok and you can see that everything actually uh, gets changed over here so that is how you can um, do page adjustments in uh, microsoft publisher hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe